Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are building a nerdy apartment as you probably also already saw by the title. So um, we are building in the spice district I think it is. I think this is the last apartment that I need to renovate in the, in the spice district and then we have the entire spice district done. And today we are transforming this Mm, I want to say it's tiny, but it's not really large, it's like a normal size apartment into a nerdy apartment for one or two sims. So we are going to have uh, two bedrooms, but one of those rooms will be a nerd office. And I don't mean nerd in a bad way, I mean I consider myself a pretty big nerd. So it's not, not something negative, and if you are offended by it, um, that's not really my fault, just don't be offended by it. So there's that. And um, not that I like the new Star Wars pack, because uh, I don't, but some of the items are pretty cool, especially for um, some of the more nerdy sims. And you have like a lot of nerd items now. You have like a Millennium Falcon and all those other weird Star Wars things that I don't really know a lot about because I'm not really into Star Wars. But the items are pretty darn good, even if I say so myself. So. We could really use them for this nerdy build. We are starting off the build by making our kitchen and we are using this really old broken uh, brick and I believe there even was a word for brick that looks like this so it has a lot of plaster still on it but I forgot the word. There is a word for it but I can't remember it anymore. Anyways, so we are going to decorate the kitchen first and we want I wanted to have this little weird painting I found this, I think there was actually a update in some of the debug items where there are a lot of new paintings and other items added to debug. So we are using this weird little painting of, I think it's a hamburger with feet. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it was weird cinnamon thing, cinnamon bun or something. And we are using that. You now we're gonna stick to our space theme. We are also using a lot of space paintings. And we did use the new shelves from the Star Wars pack. Now, if you don't have the Star Wars pack, this apartment probably won't be one that you'd like to download and use because a lot of items will be removed then. And I have to say, I really, really love the way that this shelving works. It's just, it's so cool. It looks just like uh, tin boxes. And then it's actually, there are shelves. I like it. I really like it. And we are cluttering up the kitchen like we normally do. I mean, you guys know me, I love clutter. So obviously we are cluttering up this place. In the end, I used not as much clutter as I usually do because I still wanted it to be uh, neat and, you know, easy to see what everything is. So we are gonna use a little bit of clutter. Also in the rooms, clutter won't be as bad. I mean, in my opinion, it won't be as bad. Maybe you see the home and you're like, whoa, this is so messy, so much clutter. Uh, then I'm sorry, but I don't consider this a lot of clutter, so. Also, this weird thing kept happening at that wall. So the most right wall, whenever you hoover something over it, it just disappeared. And I didn't know where it went, but just gone. So you can't actually place anything on that wall. I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's a glitch in the matrix. Who knows? So, but if you move things like a little bit uh, too far to the right, it would suddenly just disappear. So that was pretty weird. We are also obviously using this little rug from Nifty Knitting, which I love. I love the, the rugs from Nifty Knitting. And we are going to use the new Star Wars chairs. So, not chairs, they're stools. The Star Wars stools for at the bar. Like, if you haven't noticed already, uh, my speech, my English is not good. My speech is not good today. My English isn't uh, as good as it usually is. So, uh, please forgive me and don't judge me for that. And I have to say, this new table, I love it. Absolutely love, love, love it. And we are gonna use, um, you know, mix it with green, so we're gonna have that green accent come back. So we're gonna have the same blue as the kitchen counters, and then we are going to have on the couch the same green as also on the chairs, on the pillows on the chairs there. So it's gonna be all mixed and matched, and I absolutely love the way that it turns out. And I know that um, I probably said it a lot, but this time it really 
really worked out with the color scheme and everything. And I didn't even plan it um, in the beginning. I was just like, hmm, what shall we do? So I actually wanted to use the season couch, but it didn't work out. And then I found this one from university, I think that it is. And it actually worked out pretty good. And then with the new Star Wars table, it looked really, really amazing. Of course, then I had to be careful that I didn't make it look like it was too um, dark everywhere because we also had a reasonably dark floor. So we are going to use some lighter objects uh, in a while. I don't think we're going for this rock because it was just way, way too happy. So we're going to go with uh, Tiny Living and then the blue swatch because the blue came back in the kitchen as well. And that's where you make the living room look a little bit brighter. Now, for the entrance, we are going to have this little coat rack that is actually from Seasons. And then we are going to place this fireplace. And this is the Glamour Stuff, I think it is. Vin vintage Glamour is the name of the pack. And I don't really use it that often, but you know, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and again, we are using some of the space paintings above it just to make it look more nerdy, as a matter of fact, like a matter of speaking. It probably, I mean, for me, it looks pretty nerdy in the end, so with a lot of space stuff and nerd items and stuff like that, you know. And I, what I keep doing whenever I make like a very nerdy apartment, I keep using a lot of space stuff, and that isn't necessarily nerdy, and I know that, but it's one of the easiest ways to go about it in Sims 4 because it's really difficult to find like the typical nerd stuff that I have in my home because you can't have like a pile of comics or uh, I don't know like Funko Pops. Yeah, I do have the Bob, Fun the Bob Pancakes uh, one, but that's about it. The other ones aren't really that nice. And I didn't use it yet. I should have used that in this build as well. I mean, like since we have a Star Wars pack now in the Sims 4, um, is the next pack going to be a Marvel pack? You know that would be pretty cool. I would really like that. Play as Iron Man. <laughs> but that, I mean, objectively uh, saying that would probably suck as well. So don't do that, Sims. Don't ruin the adventures for me, please. And we are gonna use the eco lifestyle leaves there. I just think they add something fancy to the entire home. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna have to put a painting there or whatever. And I just think it makes it look fancy and I really like it. And I was wondering if I should put a side table there in the corner, but it didn't work out with the lamp. So in the end, we are going for the tiny table from Parenthood, I think that one is. And then we are just going to put some stuff on it. I mean, some more nerdy stuff. I mean, and that's what this uh, catalog is really good by, just because you can filter on pack. And this was actually, I downloaded the um, Better Build and Buy um, mod it will be in the video on wednesday it will be better explained but i didn't have it during this video so you'll see me scrolling through debug a lot but you know who cares and right now we are fixing the bathroom and this was i figured and i noticed that the bathroom was actually way too big so we were making some tiny little bump out in the bathroom just to make everything fit better and make it look better we are not going to do a double sink this time, usually I do that, but you just couldn't do a single sink because you know there is only one or two sinks living here, so you don't need a double sink. That's completely unnecessary. And we are gonna, I mean I was gonna use a lot of seasons, so we're gonna have the season shower, the season bathtub and the season toilet. Just, I mean, those are actually my favorite go-to uh, things like bathroom like because the bath the bathtub looks so fancy same as the toilet and the shower they look really fancy and i really really like it i mean it kind of matches and it mixes all together and then i figured that the sim living here was female so we're obviously gonna need some hair products and makeup things i mean be fair with my makeup is just shoved down in a drawer and then once a week i wear makeup because i'm just too lazy to put it on because it takes effort and you know, I don't like taking effort, and besides that, no one is going to see it anyways, so... I mean, I teach kindergarten. They don't really care if you're wearing makeup or not. And whenever I do wear makeup, they all ask me, why are you wearing lipstick? And I'm like, because I like it, and they're like, oh. And it always makes them look like, okay, they don't like it. Uh, awkward. <laughs> so we are going to use this bed, and I said it before, this is my favorite bed, and I think it's Parenthood. Could be City Living, I'm not sure. Cats and Dogs, maybe? I'm not sure. And when you move it into the into the wall, 
and the backboard actually disappeared so it is in my opinion this looks way better because i actually don't like the headboard on most beds i like beds without a headboard that's why i like the eco lifestyle bed so much also i'm sorry if you heard me yawning but man I have this tendency whenever I record videos I suddenly have to like uh, sneeze or yawn and it's really uncomfortable and I don't know why but you know it is like you know, this the way it is. So this room is going to be the bedroom and it's going to be a bedroom slash skill building slash on well, its office but it's gonna have like a lot of bookcases and a couch and a chest table and I think it also has an easel but I'm not so sure about that at the moment. You know, it's been a while since I have uh, built and edited this video, I'm just doing the voiceover now. So you know, every once in a while I get on this enormous building spree and I build so many things in a row and then I just save it up for when I don't have time to build. So I can just easily edit it and do a voiceover on it. And it's really quite good. I mean, for me it works pretty good. Let me at least say it like that. I'm not sure if actually a lot of YouTubers do it that way as well. But I usually have the tendency to build like a lot in one go and then just slowly build other stuff and slowly edit it and then a few days later do a voiceover and then make sure everything is done for the, for the next week. So I don't have to stress during the week because I also have like a full time job and I can't have a full time job and edit videos every day because that's just not possible. So now we are moving over to the office and the office is going to be like the, the nerd paradise. So we're gonna have an obvious gaming computer, extremely fancy chair, like some lights that are going up on the desk and we're actually gonna re remove that I think in a minute and we're gonna replace it with some nerdy items. And these are all from the Star Wars pack, so I just filled it on the Star Wars pack and just went through all of the catalog. And I gotta say, there are some amazing items in there that I didn't even notice when I was building my Star Wars bar. And if you haven't seen that and you like Star Wars builds, uh, make sure you check it out. It is in my speed build uh, playlist and that will be linked down below, so make sure you check it out. Full disclosure, I have absolutely no clue what all these items are. Also, you have like those banners. I have no clue if they are from the Resistance or the Rebellion or the First Order or whatever you have more. I'm not I'm really clueless about Star Wars in case you haven't noticed. So, uh, probably gonna have like a mixture of Rebellion and First Order um, banners in this room. And it probably won't make any sense for Star Wars fans, but you know, it's not like The Sims comes with an entire explanation about what is what. I mean, if you don't know Star Wars, you're kind of just screwed with this pack and you don't know what the heck is going on. But I guess I paid for that, I mean, I, mean, I, bought, a, I bought a pack myself, I didn't get it sponsored or anything, I just bought it because I wanted to see if I was gonna like it or not, and I have mixed feelings. I mean, some of the items are pretty good, but not all of them are good. A lot of them are pretty bad, actually. So, um, like, no hate towards the Sims teams. I mean, they only do what they have to do, and obviously they have, like, a mixed work or deals with EA and Disney, so, you know, whatever. They just do what they need to do anyways, so. That's not really the issue here, it's just, you know, it's really my problem that I don't really know what everything is in Star Wars and all that, so. But I did feel like this shelf was actually pretty good and it really looked good nerdy, so not really, like, awful, but, you know, you have that lightsaber there. I actually wish you'd have, like, lightsabers that were out so you could see, like, the glowy part and then put it on the wall. That would have been really amazing, but, you know, it is what it is. And then we're hanging with Stormtrooper banner, and we're using this uh, like ripped rug. And I think we are also gonna place a chair and then some more banners and plants. And then this room is done. I think, guys, we are almost going into the screenshots. So if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially the subscribing part really helps grow the channel and helps me out a lot. So make sure you do subscribe if you watch this video. So thank you guys very much and enjoy the screenshots. Bye.